Hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is the 74th part of what if Deku was a magical girl mascot, quirk, magical girl mascot, the author of this great fan FIC is Emma Ivoli links to them and original story in the description. Chapter 74, Taking the Bullet Without the fear of everything moving around they headed to where they assumed everything was. However it was clear everything was uncomfortable with the team up with the villains. So you don't want to kill him? Asked Toga. An award silence in the hallway. Oh you do want to kill him. Said Toga. We are supposed to heroes, we shouldn't murder anyone. Said Tenya. I bet you're just going to let him go. Said Toga rolling her eyes. If can get away with it we plan to hit him so hard in the balls they explode. Katsuki quietly told. Toga's eyes winded as she heard that knowing that twice shouldn't hear that plan. Oh. I stand corrected, that's evil. Said Toga. Did you really have to tell her? Mentally asked Shoto. Look she would be whining. If about how we don't want him dead. Fought Katsuki rolling her eyes. Wait, who are you talking about? Asked Achiko. They realized they didn't tell Achiko or Tsuyu about teaming up with the villains yet. We'll explain later. Fought Izuku. I get the feeling you need to. Fought Achiko. Yeah. Fought Izuku. They continued on their unsure what was going on with Mario. After all he did run on ahead. And things were complicated with his fight. While he was able to easily dispatch two his minions easily, even with some hiccups due to one of their quirks. During the fight however he learned that if they found Azuka they would kill him or use the permanent quirk eraser on him. He knew that if Azuka showed up he had to protect him. He could, he could only hope that he could beat them before he showed up. Of course luck wasn't on his side. With the group they found an injured member and a wall behind him. Get ready! Yelled Katsuki. Izuku summoned All Might's quirk, while Katsuki readied an impoison. They broke through the wall quite easily. Which was bad. As the group had arrived Togata's eyes widened in horror as Izuku was there. He wasn't sure who had the quirk erasing bullets banned with the room they were fighting converted into a pit of spikes thanks to Chisaki. He knew that things would be bad if Izuku was hit or killed. And that was when he noticed one of Chisaki's men on the floor injuries but he had a gun. It was clear he was going to shoot Izuku. Togata jumped in and took the bullet. What? Yelled Izuku confused at everything. Wait. Tintin. Yelled Katsuki. Wait, the bullet. Said Tenya. Mario. Whispered Sir Night Eye. Yeah. Said Togata, he wants to either kill or hit you with the permanent bullet. So you're the one who can give the sickness to those who don't have it. Said Shisaki looking at Izuku. Sickness? Fought Izuku. He's talking about quirks. Fought Katsuki. Oh yeah. Fought Izuku. Invisible girl. Get them to safety. Artemis when you're safe do it. Said Aizawa. Izuku nodded and turned into his mascot form. Toru grabbed Izuku and Togata's hand and turned all three of them invisible. Shoto then created a wall of ice. That's not going to work. Yelled Katsuki. I know that. Said Shoto, however it's to hold them off just enough. IT was clear that the fight that was going happen was complicated. Hold him off until the nuke arrives. Yelled Katsuki. A nuke sounds fun. Laughed Toga. Katsuki rolled her eyes. Of course the ice completely disappeared as Chisaki used his quirk on it. Krono wake up! Yelled Chisaki. On the floor was one of the members who woke up and suddenly something shot out of his hood and hit Aizawa. Who seemed to see have completely stopped. Whoever gets hot by the big hand will have to slow down. Said the one known. As Krono. Aizawa felt his entire body being slow. However that was when he found himself regaining speed. What? Yelled Krono. 
You shouldn't have explained it," said Tenya, having summoned her wand. Crano didn't know how to reponed to that. After all, he didn't expect someone to have something to counteract his quirk. However, due to the distractions, the spike had gotten worse as Aizawa using his quirk on Shisaki. Meanwhile, Toru found a safe spot for Izuku and Togata. Togata was very much injured, along with a B injury from where he was shot. She dropped the invisibility. But knew she might have to reuse it. Togata, said Izuku. I had to, not just because of summoning All Might. I've seen how happy Eri is. If you lost her quirk, she would lose the bond, and she needs it," said Togata. Izuku nodded, but quickly realized something. Wait, I think I have a way to regain your quirk," said Izuku. Wait, is the magical girl bond? Asked Togata. Izuku nodded. Togata blinked, thought about for a second, and realized. Let's do it. It sounds fun," said Togata. Izuku's sweat dropped. Taru giggled. "I wouldn't have done it otherwise, but since everything's looking bleak, giving me my quirk back plus healing me sounds good," said Togata. Izuku created the light. "So I touch it?" asked Togata, or rather Mirio. He touched it, and there was a flash of yellow light. The new magical girl's costume had changed the old hero costume a bit. While the gloves and boots were the same, most of the top remained the same. Though the sleeves were now short and just yellow, the one zero 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 was replaced by a yellow ribbon, and of course the blue pants were replaced by a blue pleated skirt. The gem to the form of a cape fastening her now hair were blue and white streaks. Also, she regained the visor that looked good but didn't work well with the quirk. Oh, I think the visor will work with my quirk now," said Mirio. She put her head in the wall, and the visor didn't fall. I can hear and see," said Mirio, surprised. "Let's not question it," said Izuku. "Though the seeing thing does bother me," sighed Toru. "What?" asked Mirio. "I'll explain when we're not in a big fight," said Toru. "That was when Izuku extended the telepathy to Mirio and Tashinori." Is it time? Asked Tashinori. It is. Thought Izuku. Also. Let me guess. You bonded with him. Thought Katsuki. I did. Thought Izuku. What? Thought Tashinori, Achiko, and Suyu. We'll explain later. Thought Mirio, getting it right away. Izuku took a breath and found Tashinori's light and brought her there. She then transformed into her magical girl form. All right, I'm going to take Izuku to safety since he's not needed for the fight, and since I'm not the best when it comes to offensiveness," said Toru. "Toru," said Izuku, "Are you sure? Yes, it's either you running around in stealth mode or worse," said Toru. "Worse?" asked Izuku. Izuku began to blush, realizing what she was getting at. Using her quirk. Well, you can easily get undressed thanks to me," said Mirio. "You are not helping," yelled Izuku, blushing. "Whatever is going on, Deku, keep your embarrassment to yourself." Thought Katsuki. The rest of us are fighting. All right, status. Thought Tashinori. Me and Icy and Hot are doing our best at fighting the bastard. Thought Katsuki. Also, we should point out that two members of the League of Villains are helping us. Thought Shoto. What? Are you serious? Thought Achiko. Sorry, we didn't tell you. Thought Izuku. It's one of them, Toga. Thought Achiko. It is. Thought Izuku. Why are they helping you? Asked Achiko. Revenge. The bastard killed the member of the league and thought since the one who died was the closest things to getting along when he was kidnapped, thought Izuku would want to help. Thought Katsuki. She was transsexual and didn't have the means to properly transition, so she liked to ask question about my quirk. Explained Izuku. Okay, that makes sense. 
thought Achiko, after all it made sense for her boyfriend to empathize with someone like that due to both his personality and his quirk. Anyways. Thought Tenya getting the conversation back on track, myself and Eraserhead has been separated and right now I am focused on managing Eraserhead's proper speed. Tenya could feel almost everyone confusion. It is better if I do not go into detail right now. Thought Tenya. We're above ground with Ryukyu. Thought Tsuyu. All right. Thought Tashinori. This way. Said Mirio, who then flinched, whoa, it's just weird with my voice. I understand. Laughed Tashinori. They both headed back to where the main fight was happening. Back in the room where the fight with Chisaki was going on something messed up happened. He grabbed one of his men and the two of them exploded, however what happened next even more messed up. What the fuck? Yelled Katsuki. Shisaki had fused himself with his henchman, he was now a horrific monster with four messed up arms. You know it's fitting to fight a monster like that. Said Shoto. You think he still has normal ball though? Asked Toga. It was clear she wanted to join in on that plan. Who knows? Said Katsuki. Why did you bring up his balls? Yelled twice confused. It's nothing said Toga. Look the nuke should be here soon. Said Katsuki, I don't think we'll be going with that plan. I'll hold him off for now. Said Sir Night Eye. Are you sure? Asked Shoto. You two are students who were dragged into this. Said Sir Night Eye who then glared at the villains, and you two are villains who shouldn't be here. Hey! Yelled Toga. Oh come on! yelled twice then sat in a different tone, you know what, that's fair. The two fought with Sir Nida even using his stamps and the two seemed to evenly matched. However that was short-lived. As something happened, something horrible. Shisaki created large spike that not only impaled Sir Nida, but also destroyed one of his arms. Right when Tashinori and Mirio arrived. Both watched in horror as this happened. And soon the entire telepathic connection was filled with sadness, shock, horror and the last emotion, pure rage. What happened? Mentally yelled those who weren't part of the group. Sir. Thought Mirio. He will pay. Mentally Tashinori. Tashinori practically teleported in between Shisaki and Sir Night Eye. What? Yelled Shisaki. Holy shit it's all might yelled twice in shock. Wait, that's the nuke? Asked Toga. It is. Said Katsuki. And All Might's mad. Said Toga. No shit. Muttered Katsuki. He made a mistake. Said Shoto. Katsuki realized what Shoto meant. This was the second time they had ever seen Tashinori this pissed and knowing what they know now from back at the UA. She was a lot stronger than she was back then. Chisaki made a huge mistake. And with that even with Chisaki's quirk, there was no way he could win. That will be it for this part. I hope everyone enjoyed. If you want to hear more from me subscribe I hope to see you all in the next one.